Excel can help us test whether the average of two samples are same or not using t-test. This is called hypothesis testing which requires knowledge of some key terms such as null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, significance level, p-value, and test statistic. To understand the first method, we take the example of a manufacturer who claims the average diameter of his machine-produced bolts is 5 mm. So we take the sample of 10 bolts and modify the two-sample t-test by adding a helper column to make up for the absence of one sample t-test in Excel. After stating the hypothesis and applying the formula we get this p-value due to which we fail to reject the hypothesis, meaning the bolt diameters are almost consistent. We can understand the two-sample t-test with the example of a company, evaluating if productivity differs between its two branches based on daily sales. After stating the hypothesis and applying the formula we get a p-value of zero. Now, since it's much smaller than the typical significance level, we can reject the null hypothesis. Finally, to understand the paired t-test we can take the example of an HR department evaluating the impact of training on the employees. Stating the hypothesis and applying the formula gives a p-value which is much smaller than the typical significance level meaning the training had a positive impact on employee performance. To learn about f-test check out our next video. To sharpen your finance and business acumen, visit us at skillfine.com.